watching Blue Dog Aquatics. Now we did a poll to see if you guys wanted to see a fish care guide or a reptile care guide or tarantulas or our random chicken coop project at our house. And it was a tie between the chicken coop project and fish care. So this week we're gonna cover the chicken coop and then next week we're gonna carry, uh, cover the, uh, the fish care guide. So now yeah, without further ado, so what was it about? About four weeks ago, we, you know, we live in town uh, and we'd always wanted chickens for eggs and they're just awesome pets and they're very addictive too. And uh, we're like, well, oh, you know, we want to buy a farm eventually to have horses and cattle and all that. And I was like, well, you know, we could kickstart it and get some chicks. And it was really just a suggestion. We're like, well, let, let, let's start by just ordering a chicken coop. Now, I will say that if you order a chicken coop off of Amazon, they're really, really tiny and they don't last very, very long. Um, and I'll, I'll show you, cause we actually have the little original chicken coop inside our big coop now. Um, but so, and it was really hot. And so we, we actually have three different generations of chickens because uh, they take better care of uh, the younger ones. And it, it really does show uh, so we had the bigger ones out in the original Amazon coop and then we had uh, the babies upstairs in one of our Tupperware which they quickly outgrew but uh, so it was a mad dash just to build we were like well should we get a shed and then you know modify it or should we just build our own and I was like well I don't know like uh Hold on one second. I think I have something on my screen. Yeah, there we go. But I was like, you know, if I'm going to take the time into modifying a, a shed, then I might as well just build my own. That way I can build it exactly how I want it to. And mind you, it's still being worked on. We still have a lot of trim to do and like uh, ventilation and stuff like that, which is very, very key. And I do want to say that chickens are reptiles. So that kind of ties into this too. Um, a lot of people ask, but yeah, any, pretty much anything with scales, uh, birds or, uh, reptiles. And it, we can do a whole nother video on that if you guys want. But, uh, yeah, people always want to know what we do and what side projects we have going on. And, uh, what do I do when I'm not at my shop, <laughs> which this is it. I, I, I build random stuff. So, I mean, we have the pond back there. We built a fire pit. This has all been stuff this year. Um, we did have a gazebo here, but thanks to a branch falling, uh, I took that out. But the chicken coop, that's, yeah, that's a playhouse. Um, we didn't build that. That was here, but it needs to come down. But without further ado, I'll switch over. Um, if you guys have any comments or anything like that, make sure to drop them down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing it. Um, our channel's been drastically growing lately and I love that because I love bringing you guys new content. But yeah, guys, let's check them out. So that right there is the coop that we bought off Amazon. Um, and I'll do a closer up on it, but I wanna walk you through the actual so this had multiple different modifications. <coughs> the big coop here is, uh, it's four foot wide in the area of the door and it's eight foot long. But then we also have the nesting boxes right here and I'll show you that. We actually went to the restore and picked up an old window that we could use to open or close depending on if it's summertime and we need more ventilation or wintertime we can close it to keep the warmth in. I actually went above and beyond. Um, I shingled the roof, which man, it's been a long time since I've actually shingled a roof. And it it took me do, doing some remembering, but you know, it is what it is. And same with like setting rafters in place. Don't judge me guys, no hate comments. But like I actually set the rafters directly on top because I could not for the life of me remember how to do the notch so that the rafter actually sat on the top of it but i put hurricane anchors in i know overkill but you know it was cheap and it was at the restore and it was i think it was like a 
50 cents a piece or whatever. So I was like, screw it, let's do it. Um, again, I went through and shingled, mind you, <laughs> I try to build stuff to code, but then I was like, man, it's a chicken coop. But at the same time, you know, the biggest thing when you're building a coop is to make sure that it's square. Now, when we built the foundation of it, those are four by four, and those go all the way up. And the biggest thing is making sure it's square. Well, it was square at the bottom, and then we had to move it because originally it was gonna be next to the fence. And I didn't want it there. I wanted it out further because with the run and everything, I was just like, no, it just looks better out here. Well, in the process of moving it, it got tweaked. And so, and on this side, we really didn't notice it. But then when I was sheeting the top of the roof, I noticed it over there. And it was off by about that much. And so I had to trim and splice it and you know, it is what it is. But down here, um, we have these locks on here, or these carabiners, um, just a quick latch. But we actually have, these are little ones here. Uh, we have, nesting boxes that aren't quite yet done yet but you know we have a little bit of time as these chicks aren't ready but we have a water dish sitting in the one um i'll show you what we did on the inside too if i can get this thing to relatch for me yeah i don't know i can't get it to relatch but that's the joys of it it's been kind of cool this morning but we went over on the side put chicken wire one of our chicks actually earned the name houdini because he's escaped from three different uh coops so but yeah we went right up next to the fence um giving the chicks as much room for them to run they can also run underneath and uh yeah you can see we're starting to do the trim we did do a barn red color and then the white trim give it that old school barn look um, up here, we're starting to cut because we want to put a vent up here that we can control. And then in here, you're going to see some of the chicks. So the white one right there, that is Houdini. Houdini is our little escape artist. But it's funny because Houdini kept escaping. And so we put him with the, or we put her with the younger chicks. And there, the other chicks now are her matriarch like or she's the matriarch uh they follow her everywhere which is kind of cute uh the gold one up there that is goldie and then we have a couple of sapphires and we have an americana the americana is right in the middle it's the one that doesn't look like the other the other three and that's ducky uh the sapphires don't have names yet but uh if you have a name for us, uh, make sure to drop it in the comments down below so we can get additional names for these guys. You can see we have uh, bedding, but I also wanted to show you down here on the bottom. Um, we actually put a sealant on top of this plywood with polyurethane. That way with the waste and um, it, it doesn't break down. Cause I, I've seen a lot of coops when we were doing our research that the floor is normally the first thing because if you get moisture or humidity or anything like that, it'll just crumble away and then people have to put new sheets of plywood in. Are you being mouthy? Huh? This is their roost. They have different levels. And um, obviously when the bigger birds are in here, they'll set up top because, well, you gotta support your elders, right? Uh, we do have a couple of water dishes in here. That way they stay very well hydrated. Um, and we did close this off because when we put the, this was open, but when we put the roof on, there were a lot of nails coming through. And so we didn't want the birds getting hurt in any way. We do have the door over here that my daughter's sticking her head through. Um, and we actually have it. Oh, this right here is really crucial. So this board right here isn't nailed in at all. And that is so when it's time to clean out the coop, all we have to do is remove this. It's high enough where I can actually set my wheelbarrow right here on the edge, and then we can just scrape it right in. And we've been thinking about composting, 
um, just so that we could reuse the soil and all that. Um, so if you have ideas or anything like that on the easiest way to do composting when you live in town, just let us know. Uh, this is the work of my girl friend. She did an amazing job. So this is a latch here and this actually controls, you can see it going up, but this actually controls the door so that we can open and close it from out here. Um, she had to do slide tracks and all that. And we did get some solar powered lights. That way we can see the coop at night. There's another one on the end of the coop. It's a funny story because when we started building this, it just, it kept growing and growing. And that's probably my fault because I'm like, well, technically according to city code, a, each chicken needs a four square foot uh, area for one chick. We have 15 chicks. And so I was like, well, we have 32 square feet inside the coop itself. And then originally we were just gonna put, we had, you see all the black grates, that's actually a dog run. And we were just gonna use that. But after going through all the work with the coop, we were like, no, we need more space. That way, you know, especially with these guys and you run into issues with health that they're too uh, close together, like coccidia, uh, which is more so in babies, which we did end up dealing with. Um, Dr. Merkwan came out and uh, helped us treat uh, one of the chicks that had it. But, you know, honestly, since we put them in the big new coop, they've been absolutely fine and uh, they're thriving and loving it. Um, one thing, I can't get that hooked back on the the door um don't judge my framework i'm not a carpenter <laughs> but i went through and put this door in uh originally the door was supposed to be over there and i totally forgot to put it in when i was building and so what i did was i didn't want to go get more lumber so i actually used a bunch of scrap lumber to uh build the door as you can see we do have uh, chicken wire all the way around the run. Uh, the run itself uh, from the edge of the coop is about 12 foot long. Uh, well, yeah, about 12 foot long and then uh, 12 foot wide. And it was a little bit longer, but then it would interfere with the fence and the gate. So we ended up cutting it back. Um, right now we do just have a tarp up on top for cover for shade for them, but we will eventually end up adding a roof because obviously the biggest thing is you want to watch out for like owls and birds of prey that are going to attack our chickens and we don't want that so we obviously you guys know my dogs they're barking everywhere but you can see we have random piles of this and what this is is so that the chickens can dust themselves it helps keep off mites and fleas and lice and Oh, this one right here, huh, these two, this is Hocus and Pocus, um, our female. Come here, come here. Do you want to be held? No, like no. Hocus actually likes being held. And you're like, well, why do you name your chickens? Well, look at them. They're so cute. How can you not name them? Look at that. She's got some amazing colors to her. Uh, the, the Sapphires, they're still figuring out the doors. But yeah, this is the coop that we actually got from Amazon. Overall, if, <coughs> if you have multiple generations of chickens, then yeah, I mean, you could put the babies inside this small coop. Oh, here comes Goldie. And that way you can slowly integrate them in with the flock. Um, we did have a couple of issues when we integrated, but it was crazy because once the babies figured out that they had all this room, they came out and then the bigger birds are like, oh, I'm going to go in this little tiny area. So, um, you can see we do have redneck style. Uh, we have bungees. Uh, this is actually holding their food off the ground. That way, you know, it, it keeps it out of the, the muck and the dirt and, uh, keeps, everything out they do have a swing um one of our birds we might remove this but one of our birds tried getting on this and he essentially yeeted himself or herself off of it uh we have water dishes all over to make sure that they stay hydrated because the temperatures out here have been fluctuating in nebraska 
And so in the morning it's super cold, but in the day it's super hot. So, but yeah, uh, we do have also a roost out here, um, easily removable so we can clean it off. Uh, now the black grate around the side, you may ask what that is. That's the chicken run or pieces or, or not chicken run. Sorry. It's part of the dog run that we originally had. And we wanted to give the babies lots of places to roost and they've slowly been figuring it out. Yeah, lots and lots of space, as you can see. So, yep, they're going to run for me. We have Raptor and Godzilla. Those are our two big hens. They are still kind of skittish. Hi, Huey. But yeah, like I said, if you have any... Uh... <laughs> Look at that face. She's just like, hey, hey. I'm on TV. Mom, I'm on TV. She loves. Yeah. She's so cute. But I mean, we have sat fires and Americanas and uh, this was supposed to be a silky, but I don't think it's a silky. Uh, we went to the state fair and actually seen true silkies. And yeah, that... These guys don't look like true silkies. So if, if you uh, raise chickens and you actually know what these guys are, shoot us a comment. That way we can actually know definitively what they are. Um, we did have an issue. So like in city limits, we are not allowed to have roosters. And so we actually had to, thankfully, you know, the people that we got, the biggest chicks from, uh, we were able to, uh, are you gonna roost up here? Are you going to jump? Uh, we were able to trade out uh, one of the roosters with uh, a hen. So that was really awesome to see. Hey, we. Yeah, and if you can't tell, I like Hocus, or I like Halloween. That's why a lot of these guys get their names from the, uh, the movie Hocus Pocus. Um, she's such a sweetheart. She is the only one out of the flock that loves to just snuggle and hang out. I will say if you guys are going to, there she goes. If you guys do hold chickens, uh, make sure to wash your hands. Um, just, we, we don't want you getting sick uh, from any of the different uh, diseases or bacteria that can be carried by chickens. Um, we do have different uh, veggies around here also that uh, these guys can eat. And then uh, whatever is not used will be put into a compost post that I haven't built yet. But yeah. yeah, still a lot, still some work to do. But honestly, for this being built in four, four and a half days, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And uh, <laughs> one of the, one of the bee, hi Goldie. Uh, one of the biggest things we actually forgot to do originally when we were building it. So we built the door and then got all the chicken wire in and we were, we shut the door and we we're like, uh, how do we get out? Now I could pull it and get out, but, uh, thank God we had children cause, uh, we'd be, we'd be stuck in the coop. But yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this is just one of our random side projects that we do and um, it brings our family a lot of joy. Obviously, you know, a lot of the chicks, we're hoping to have some eggs by about November, but we'll see. But I mean, this definitely brings our family a lot of joy and it brings the kids a lot of joy interacting with all the chicks and the dogs are definitely always curious figuring out what's going on but thanks for tuning in guys as always i'm james and uh <laughs> we will see you guys next monday if you have a suggestion on videos you want to see please let us know and uh as always guys your tank or mine <laughs>